all righty what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel for another market update hope everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said against the ta all right guys so yes we have another early update and i know maybe some of you guys don't like the early updates but i am just going to make them when i see them as relevant and right now i think we got a ton of relevant information and by the time i make the video when the market is closing it literally is not going to matter i'm going to point out the same exact thing and that is really why i make these early updates there's no reason to wait all right so let's talk about it we're going to start off the video with nq nq's four hour rsi is oversold the last five times nq's four hour rsi was oversold over the last 2.5 months we have seen an aggressive bounce Four out of five of those bounces we have seen go straight up to a new high. The only one that did not was this one right here where you did that. And guess where you came to? The golden pocket. You sold off right from the 0.786 bid down to a new low. And then from there, what happened? You then got bought up to a new high. So I am looking for a bounce coming out of here, guys. That I am. Now, I am also going to point this out over here. You have contact with your long-term trend line. All right, now when I say long-term, guys, this is really just four months, so I don't know what you want to call long-term or not. Um, but it's not something that is just, you know, an uptrend that's been falling for a few weeks. No, this has been months. All right, we've had this before, and guess what? You could die, all right? You very much so could start dying and falling off a cliff here. But what I think is more likely is we get that bounce here, and then you roll over. Now, again, on this bounce, where are we looking for? golden pocket all right that's that's really what i am going to be looking for i understand i might sound redundant i might sound like i keep just saying buy the dip i'm not telling you to keep buying the dip all right uh i'm just gonna keep pointing out what i see i will actually take a pause right here and i'm just gonna say guys we built out a range here and you died all right on spy and qqq you built out this range that if you turn on extended hours you can see uh I would say a better picture here. But guys, we've been in the same range here for almost two weeks. All right, now that is seven trading sessions right there, so a week and a half. And I'm just saying, you completely gapped underneath that trading range today. Completely gapped under. Guys, psychology-wise, all right, let's look at what's happening. You now had every single possible buyer in this two-week, 1.5-week range up here is now underwater. They're probably going to sell when you come back up. So I am just going to uh, share my opinion there. All right. I understand. Yeah, I've been bullish, but guys, you just kind of gapped under here. Yes, I'm looking for a bounce, but I am not going to act like uh, this is a bullish look. No, you just gapped underneath a week and a half long trading range on SPY and QQQ, and now everyone's underwater. So this is either going to be the biggest bear trap we've seen in quite some time. Like over here, you, you lost support. Oh, you came back up, lost support. Came, oh, came back up. All right. So it's either going to be the biggest bear trap we've seen in a very long time or no, we are starting to roll over. There's no reason you should have had this big, fat, nasty 1% gap down underneath a range like that unless this was to, you know, be a bull trap. So it was a bull trap. I will not deny. I did not see that coming. But there is that. All right. But back over here to NQ. What are we watching for? Well, first of all, you're at support right now. You have this trend line support right now. Your four hour RSI is starting to turn back up right now. And uh, yeah, I think you do get a bounce here. I also will put this one there. All right. If you are really going to take this whole move from here to here, this is in the golden pocket. We have confluence going on here. That's what I'm getting at. That's why I said I was recording the video early. Guys, I, I'm going to point out the same exact things in the video later and by that time maybe it is too late and you've seen this price start coming up here and boom all of a sudden you're back testing this level right here at 18.375 all right well it's 7.8 but uh there's that now what am i open to all right what scenario here am i open to well if we truly are going to be rolling over and this is the start of the decline which i'm just going to point out we do not have something like right here if we're going to follow this exact same sequence, we're right here. You're right here. You're not right here. 
I understand that's where the four hour RSI is oversold. And that's why I'm at least looking for, we're gonna call it a 1.5% bounce. This is a 1.7% bounce. You hit your low right here. All right, you had the bullish divergence. You hit oversold territory right here. You went a little lower. Then you had this bounce. All right, so we're looking for, uh, we'll call it a 1% bounce. We're looking for at least a 1% bounce. And then you can continue rolling over. All right, I'm not saying you're going to continue rolling over. I personally don't think that's going to be the case. I'm going to point out in this video why I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, but, you know, I'm definitely going to talk about all the scenarios, guys. We got to, you know, be prepared for this. And I was not prepared for this gap down this morning. But, uh, yeah, I, I hate to say it, but I, I really just want to buy this dip. Specifically on NVIDIA and Meta. I tried buying the dip on Meta this morning, and the thing just kind of took off without me. All right, um, but yeah, 500C, 419 expiration. I think you're going to do real well on Meta from down here. Uh, you come over here to NVIDIA. Guys, NVIDIA is down at the buying opportunity that we pointed out in the weekly update as well as uh, last week. We're saying like, hey, all right, this is it. But like, if you come down here, this is really where you want to be taking your shot long on here. I'm just going to put a circle here somewhere in this zone. All right, four hour RSI has not stayed oversold for years all right well actually can we say years when did this thing start ripping i think at this point now it is has been years all right guys year and a half all right regardless this thing is the beast and this thing provides buying opportunities when it is oversold the last opportunity you got just like this one was right before earnings and yes you did tank after hours during earnings and then you ripped faces all right Think it go a little lower from here. It can come down here to 860. All right. The bottom of your demand zone. It could even come down here to support 842. But I do think that is going to be a quick move if it does decide to do that. And then I think it's going to go boop. All right. So it would be like boop, boop, something like that. All right. So uh, yeah, I uh, honestly just kind of want to buy the dip massively heavy. All right, any loss, I kind of just want to cover with some dated calls here on Meta and NVIDIA. That's kind of my uh, my game plan here um, of how I'm going to come out of this perfectly fine. It's just like, hey, all right, grab some dated calls, have those run 100, 150%, and uh, yeah, you're going to be all in the clear, guys. You'll be all in the clear. I'll be all in the clear. All right, but uh, right down here, guys, this is not something <laughs> you're going to see, you know, if the market is going to keep dying, it's probably going to do this and then rip back up. All right. Now, I don't know how high you rip on this, this next bounce. So we'll just draw that arrow straight into the golden pocket. 933. That's what we're looking for on this rip. And you come over here to Meta, guys. Meta is something that continuously, all right, just like NVIDIA, gets bought up off of these oversold levels. You got to go all the way back to October 2022 to find that that was not the case. So as long as you did buy enough time on these, you know, moves down here, you got your nice entries right down here at 482. I think this is a valid entry right here on Meta. Um, yeah, I, th I, think, uh, I think you're going to have a good time. There's that. Fortunately, guys, AMD is not having a good time. And uh, quite frankly, I I'll just say I was wrong on this one. I will just say I was wrong. All right, I did think this thing was going to be, uh, I thought it was going to be doing some things. And no, it is not. It has literally gone sideways for half a month. And yeah, you did not get the buyer stepping in like I did think was going to be the case. So, you know, I'll, I'll admit that one. This was not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, but yeah, all right, there's that. Honestly, we, we haven't seen the tides turn yet. I was thinking this day was going to do right there, and then today hit. So uh, I don't know about that one. But no, I'm still going to highlight the crap out of NVIDIA right here and then Meta down here. I'm definitely going to be highlighting that coin. You already got your opportunity this morning. Um, but, you know, obviously glorious buying opportunity if you do get down here back into your demand zone. But if you guys just put on the gold of pocket, this is why we stress the gold of pocket so much here on this channel. It is something that continuously works across the board on a wide array of tickers. All right. So that is pretty much all I got for you today. I do want to point out some individual tickers. And actually, before I go any further on those individual tickers, I want to point out Mr. Vix. If you're not new here to the channel, that you understand at this point in time 
that when VIX's daily RSI gets up to 65, your boy Henry on this channel will be saying, guys, all right, downside is limited. We're looking for that bounce on SPY and SPX. Why? Because unless you're crashing every single time, you do not spend more than a few trading sessions above that 65 level in the RSI, which means downside is limited. We're not looking for, you know, this thing to continue just selling off. And we're looking for VIX to cool off. And then if you want to keep shorting after it cools off, there you go. There's going to be the opportunity getting presented to you. All right. But right now, I think, uh, just saying, let's come over here to SPY. I think there is a solid shot. You are not shorting the hole, but I think you could be just coming down here and then doing that. But let's just also point out the last four times, uh, five, six times you have lost the 9 EMA. There's one common theme. They were all, literally all traps. <laughs> so that's that. All right, we got a one, we have a two, we have a three, we have a four, you have a five. This is the sixth. All right. All of them proved to be traps. Do you guys want to see something? Boom. Oh, you think today is special? No. You got a 1.5% gap down right there. Oh, you think today is special? No. You got a 1.3% move right there. Oh, again, you think today was special? No. Nope. You pretty much did the same thing over there. All right. I understand it was pretty aggressive. But at the same time, we've literally seen this before. And I'm sure you're going to see a lot of people getting really bearish. And I'm just going to tell you, guys, if you're a bear, you're looking for this. Oh, Jesus, you're not looking for that. But, you know, you were looking for this. And for that bounce, wherever that's going to be, maybe come up here to the golden pocket, get some sellers stepping in there, and boom, bop, bing, boop, pow, then you're on your way to the downside. But right now, I don't think you're going to be on your way to the downside. Like, this could be the start, all right? You lost this. Guess what? You're currently trendless, so there's that. We are in a whole sloppy market, honestly. I'm going to be completely honest. I've not been having the best time in this sloppy market. And I would like to take a step back and really just, hey, risk off mode, like a whole full on risk off mode. Let's just wait for the next set of glorious setups to come around to us. Because quite frankly, this is a mess. What is this? It's trendless. You finally did end up coming down to the 518.22 level that we were watching for. But now it's trendless. All right. I don't want to buy that dip. I'm going to tell you right here. QQQ. This could be just be a higher low here on the weekly time frame. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say this is a pretty look. It's just not. You're literally in the same exact trading range for quite some time now. Six weeks. All right. Six, one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. This is the sixth week. You're still above that 9 EMA. So, like, I can't I can't justify flipping bearish. You just can't do it. You can't do it. But uh, there will be a time, guys. I swear, there will be a time. But it's much more likely you're going to get buyers stepping in here. And then, boom, you get bought up to that golden pocket. And then you see the, the sell-off continue. I just don't think right now is the place that, you know, shorts are going to have the best time. I think uh, if you were sitting there with a swing short position, I think you might have opened up with, you know, 50 to 100%, depending how much time you had on that. But that was the move you were trying to catch as a bear. You're not trying to see this thing undercut this low. Maybe it does undercut this low, but with all that good, you're going to get buyers stepping in here. If you take out 463.30, that is when we're going to look for the low of this candlestick, which is going to be 432.74. If you can finally take out 432.74, that is when, boom, yes, we have this absolute massive, massive gap sitting over here. What is this gap from, you ask? NVIDIA. All right, NVIDIA. Will NVIDIA's gap ever fill? No. <laughs> I'm just going to blatantly uh, put that one out there. No, it will never fill. It's not going to happen. None of NVIDIA's earnings gaps are ever going to fill. The thing is probably just going to keep going. Do you really think this thing's going to return down to these levels? It could. All right. It could. And all the people who are saying, oh, it's a bubble. You're going to be right. All right. But I think you're wrong. And I don't think it's coming back down here. I'm going to be so honest on that one. Let's look at it this way. Did it ever come back down here? The rip started. This whole rip started here. Okay. You guys actually want to see something pretty cool? Golden pocket. I'm going to use the weekly time frame. All right. Golden pocket. 
Guess what? It never returned back down there. Well, let's see this. Okay. Well, this was... That is a 70% move. Going from there to where the rip started. It did not do that. Instead, it just kind of held its gains. I do think that's going to be the case. I literally think you're never coming back down to these prices again. All right? Like, you have to see a full-on market crash. You have to see everyone lose faith in the beast himself, and this thing will finally come down. But if it ever does come back down, where are we just going to look for at the bottom? Right around here. All right, the previous trading range. This is clear as day where you've had a lot of the move. I can guarantee. All right. Let's actually not guarantee it. Let's just show you. All right. Right there. See this volume spike here in this range. All right. See how there's no volume there? Well, slice like butter. All right. If you ever do see Faith get lost in the beast himself, yes, this will slice like butter. All right, if you lose this range, this will slice like butter up until this point right here. See how you had this big week right there? All right. Well, right here, this is where you have your volume support. Okay. This is straight up where the action is going to be. So, if you, yeah, if you ever come back down, yeah, you're just going to find buyers there. All right. You got, like, pretty much nothing going on up here. Clearly do have something going on where you are right now. Why? Because that's the perfect spot. That is the perfect spot to be buying, the, buying said dip. Okay, my opinion. All right, guys. PLTR. Right over here. Break and retest. Take this ugly thing off of my chart. This is why I don't keep it on the chart. <laughs> I like a clean chart. I definitely do. Daily RSI is getting down to oversold territory. The four hour RSI is in oversold territory. Right as you come and you backtest that. If you do not find buyers stepping in right here, then I'm looking for buyers to step up in the golden pocket. But I think it's much more likely they'll step up here or move back up here to test this neckline. All right, that would be 2343. That is the level we are going to be paying attention to on this bounce. All right, I already did mention coin. You're stepping up or you have buyers stepping up inside of the golden pocket right now. That is a good look, obviously. I already did mention Meta. I already did mention NVIDIA. I already told you that AMD is, you know, what the heck is this thing doing? No idea. It's clearly not not shining right now. It is clear as day not shining. QQQ, all right, you're in the golden pocket. So I'm not going to say it's a trade idea, but I'm definitely going to tell you right now, if you do look into long the thing, it's in the golden pocket. That's, that's where you want to be doing it. NQ is on that uptrend. On like you have dual support, you got trend line support, you got horizontal support, you got golden pocket support, you got the four hour RSI being oversold. We're not gonna call that support. <laughs> I know you probably thought I was gonna say it. We're not gonna do it. You have coming over here to Microsoft. What's going on over here? Oh, you're coming back into your uptrend. All right, you're coming into the uptrend. That uptrend aligns with the golden pocket. All right. If you aggressively sell down, I'm just going to be looking for this 4-hour RSI to get down to where it usually bounces, right over here. And then I'm going to be looking for a bounce. Okay, right, so I'm actually going to... Bu -bu -bum, bu -bu -bum, bu -bu -bum. There we go. Uh, no, I put the wrong alert. Well, that this alert does not work. I'm just letting you know. Spot them with your eyes. Do not look for that. All right, so we have our thing right there. We're going to make... Uh, no! No! Stop that. Stop that. Don't you do that. All right. I need to be able to drag it. Oh, it's going to do it again. Okay, no. Dude, stop doing that. This thing is really getting on my nerves right here. Crossing. Where's the value? Oh, right here. I'm... That was that was a brain dead moment right there. <laughs> I was looking for the value, right? Is it gonna hit on me again for absolutely no reason at all? No, it's not. Okay, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna set it right there, and that would align with that. And I will put you slightly little high there. All right, guys. So we will uh, know if Microsoft is coming down, and it's probably gonna be looking like it's right here around this 415 level. And that means the 4 hour RSI will be in the same spot that it has been getting these bounces on. Yes, it can go lower, but those this bounce, that is what I'm talking about right now. All right, this bounce, that is what I'm talking about right now. And then you're going to get the big old bounce. 
but you know as you see it it, it, it likes to dance around so um yeah just put it on your radar at the uptrend golden pocket four hour side down there you like it well i i will like it so there's that all right, so that is pretty much it. That is, I think that was the only, uh, those are the only ones I really wanted to talk about today. You got DraftKings over here. You did not end up holding your breakout level, but you're still just chilling. All right, you were chilling around where you were finding sellers up there, which means the solid shot, you're going to be finding buyers, all right? Um, there's that one going on, and then you have IBM over here, still chilling right here at the break and retest zone, still in the golden pocket. Still got this ball and wedge pattern going on, you broke out of. So there's that. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Peace.